In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a custom email address for your business. Go to workspace.google.com. This page introduces the premium versions of Google products used by millions of businesses. Go to Plans and Pricing to choose the Google Workspace edition that best fits your business. The available plans are Starter, Standard, Plus, and Enterprise, and their inclusions are also listed. I'll choose the Starter plan which costs $6.30 per user per month with a one-year commitment. Click the Start Free Trial button. On the next page, provide the business name, number of employees, and region or country. Once done, click Next. Enter the first name, last name, and current email address of the person who will serve as a Google Workspace admin. Then click Next. You'll need a domain to set up email and your Google Workspace account. Since I don't have a domain yet, I'll choose Get a New Custom Domain to Buy One. Click Continue with this method. Search for a domain that reflects your business name or brand. Enter your preferred domain name. If it's available, it will appear in the results list along with the annual price. Select your domain from the list. You will use this domain to set up Google Workspace, create professional email addresses, and sign into Google products. Click Next. Enter your business address, including street, city, postal code, province, and contact number to register your domain. Click Next. As an admin user, set up your username to sign in and create your business email address. Use at least eight characters for your password. Check the boxes if you'd like to receive feature announcements, tips, offers, or feedback opportunities. And if you'd like Google to send your team members emails about workspace apps and features. Click Agree and Continue if you agree to the terms and conditions. The plan you selected will appear for confirmation. Choose the annual plan if you intend to use it long term. This requires a one-year commitment. You'll be informed about your billing cycle, and you can add users as needed. A 10% discount applies to the first 20 users for the first 12 months. Click Try for free for 14 days to proceed. Review and check your card. Mine includes the business starter plan and the domain name. Provide your contact information, tax information, and payment method. Click Agree and Continue if you accept the terms and conditions. Personalize your setup by selecting your main goal for using Workspace. On the next page, choose the apps or tools you already use to skip the basics. Click Continue. You'll then see a list of recommended setup actions. Start by creating accounts for your team members. Click Add User, Add New User, Buy More Licenses. Enter the number of new accounts you want to create. For example, I'll add one additional user which costs $6.30. Remember, the discounted price applies only for the first year. Afterward, the regular price of $7 per user per month will apply. Click Continue. Review your information on the checkout page. If everything looks correct, click Place Order. A confirmation message will appear. To set up accounts, click Users in the menu, Add New User, Enter the user details, Send the sign-in instructions which include a link to set a password and access Google Workspace. Then Done. Refresh the page to see the updated list of users with their custom email addresses. Next, deploy two-step verification for all users to enhance security. 
click enable now. If you haven't enabled it for the admin account, do that first. Click Turn on Two-Step Verification to add an extra layer of security. When signing in, you'll be asked to verify your identity via the registered phone number. Click Done. Go back to the checklist of recommended actions. Click Enable now again. Under Enforcement, choose On to require users to enable two-step verification. Allow new users to enroll before enforcement begins and let them trust their devices to avoid repeated prompts. Select any methods to enforce verification, then click Save. Continue completing the remaining recommended actions in the checklist. To learn more about the Gemini app, click Get Started. Access to Gemini is included in Google Workspace. It's a secure, AI-powered assistant that can help you write emails, analyze documents, and more. Your content remains private and isn't used for model training outside your domain without permission. Click Add Logo to brand your workspace. Click Upload from Device to upload your logo. Click Save. From the admin page, go to Users, click the user's name, then click Avatar to upload the profile picture. Now, return to the personal email address you registered as the admin user. Look for an email from Squarespace to verify your domain account. Click Verify Now in the email. It's important to add an MX record to your domain so Gmail users can send and receive emails. From the same email, click Login and ensure you sign in using your admin domain account. Go to the Domains tab, select your domain, DNS, DNS settings, and record. If prompted to log in again, use your admin domain account. For the new record, enter add symbol for the host, MX for type, 1 for priority, 1 hour for TTL, smtp.google.com for mail server. Click Save. That's it. You've now set up your custom email address for your business. I hope this tutorial helps. If it did, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you!